Hey guys, welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take regular flash drives, such as the one that you use to store your files on, such as um, these, or junk drives, or duck drives, or whatever you call them. And I'm going to show you how to convert your Windows 10 um, DVD, that's the physical DVD, into a bootable drive. So you can do, as I'm about to do now, format your PC, whether it's a gaming PC or a regular desktop computer. Alright guys, so this tutorial will be how to easily take that whole Windows DVD, could even be an ISO file or file that you have on your computer and convert it down to something as small as this flash drive that you see here. Alright guys. Okay guys, I've switched to the desktop just to show you a close up view of what I'm showing you here. Um, you'll need a Windows PC. Alright, so once you're on Windows, um, just make sure that you have your physical DVD now um, it's a legal copy um, it might not look exactly like this but something towards this effect you should have a physical disk and you'll need a DVD drive so that your computer can actually read the disk so if you have a physical disk go ahead and put it into the DVD drive all right um, another thing that you'll need is that um, you don't really need a physical DVD if it's that you bought it digitally and you downloaded it you should have a file on your computer called an ISO file I don't have a copy of one now to show you but it's just basically a file that contains the Windows files or the other type of OS it could be Linux or something else all right so the first thing that you're actually going to do is that you're going to get that to make sure you have all those files then you're going to download this tool I'll put a link in the description and on screen it's called Rufus and it's one of the best tools that I've found now this is basically foolproof meaning that it's very hard to screw up this so if you have been trying to create um, these uh, bootable flash drives before and not working um, this would be your best solution so easy now the file itself is less than a megabyte so 910 kilobytes uh, you're gonna uh, download as I said link on screen or in description now once you have done this you are going to come to a screen like this now it's very important that you have a flash drive that's at least five gigabytes I'd recommend eight all right they're relatively cheap and if you have one of those drives I want to simply go ahead and just plug that in all right as you can hear my PC has just detected the drive and as you see here it has populated the um, the tool detected and it's showing that the drive is detected as you see I have a 8 gigabyte it shows a 7.4 if it does not show up simply click on the drive and this is gonna be your flash drive you gotta select it you can name it whatever you want I suggest that you have no other files on it and you format it right as you see it's drive H and I'm gonna go ahead there and just um, select it now of course drive H should be blank as I said so if it's not please go to my computer alright then you're gonna um, right click and format make sure you back up your files so it has to be a drive you're not using now um, for a quick reference I've actually made a copy or a screenshot of the last time I did this so as you can see here I have taken the tool here um, this was with an older version though although it basically will stay the same so once you have done that the next thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna look at um, where it says partition scheme and target system type now if you're running Windows um, this is the best option you're gonna cho choose the MBR and I think that stands for multiple boot record or something along that line and the little tool on screen there explain um, that little pop-up shows what it is right and as you can see here it gives you other options such as GPI or uh, the, the, um, the MBR when you have a UE UEFI BIOS now um, if you have a brand new computer that's bought in the last year or so it should be using a UF, UEFI right and the UEFI is the BIOS that basically you can use your mouse in older um, versions would use another scheme so if it fails you can actually use one of the others for me I've realized that due to my device using a UEFI BIOS or for most users just go with this option works on both BIOS or UEFI or you can just select one that goes with straight UEFI all right just don't get yourself confused it's not really that hard so if you're in doubt just select this option as you're seeing here on screen next you're gonna choose the file system um, as you can see there um, it's on FAT32 and I would advise that you switch it to um, the closest option you're seeing here um, FAT or FAT32 right or the default right the old options you just say FAT now it says FAT32 the same thing basically and then you see here it says cluster size 
for the cluster size make sure you switch it to 32 kilobytes as you're seeing over here right and as you see here it shows that um, the new volume label and you can leave that as is right or you could just name it something like um, anything you want like Windows 7 or whatever I'm just gonna leave it as is right for the passes you're gonna make sure it goes to two passes as you're seeing over here right and you're gonna leave all three options here the first one um, um, unchecked right and for this you're gonna use um, the option that you're going with now as you see here it says do you want to use a ISO image or a DD image ISO image if you have a file that's actually the Windows CD on your your um, your, your device or uh, you can just leave it at free dust now if you have a CD in the drive simply click to select an image on here works as well or you could just select the, the DVD drive right so anyone would work depending on what. Now in my situation, I'm using um, so images. I would actually go here and select it, right? Or I could just go to my DVD drive, as you're seeing over here, and just select it. If it had in a DVD in it. Alright, so I could either select it over here or select my um, my image. Now, please do not select your flash drive for that section here. So it asks you down here. You're going to actually direct it to the either the physical DVD drive or you're going to se um, select an image file, alright, that contains the Windows file. Alright. So next, once you have done all of that, you're going to go ahead and click Start. And once you click Start, what's going to happen is that it's going to create the um, the bootable USB flash drive. Now it will take a little while, so you want to leave it for a while. And as soon as it's finished, it will tell you, and you can click finish. Um, it will take a little while, but once you actually try to format Windows using this USB key that will be created, it will be much faster than you're using a physical um, DVD. All right, guys. So that has been a quick tip on how to create a bootable USB flash drive. If you're having any issues, please leave a comment below. And remember, you can experiment with the settings if you're having any issues. As I've explained, it should help you to get through most of the trouble. Alright guys, Ricardo from Black Tech Tips saying goodbye.